We're going to take all of our pieces that we've cut out and create um, an ice cream composition here. And so first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick out a piece of uh, wallpaper. And on the back, the first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and I write my name. I'll put that aside. And then you're going to choose a tablecloth. So I chose a blue one. And what I'm going to do then is take my glue bottle. And I have this so that the, I've turned it so that the lid is pointing, coming out a little bit. And then I'm going to be putting ladybug dots on the construction paper of the tablecloth. So we don't want big gold globs of glue. And then I'm going to turn this over and line it up right with the bottom of that paper. Press it with my fingers. And next I have cut out my dish and I have my scoops. So I'm going to try to arrange them first before I do any gluing. So you can do some things where you hide them a little bit. Back here. And so I'm going to have them like this. Maybe move this one up just a little bit. So not everything has to show. So the thing with this, there's this white showing, I can just tuck that behind there and it won't even be a problem. I'm going to take these off and I want to glue these together first. So I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of this one. And I'm also going to put some glue in here. I'm going to glue those two together. And I'm going to glue this one behind it. And then I can double check to see if that looks good. Now you really want to squeeze these together. This is very thick watercolor paper. That way they will kind of come off of the... Go ahead and put another drop of glue right in there so that it stays down. Okay, so I did end up having a piece come down like this. Once again, more ladybug dots. I like how I haven't put this right next to the edge. I've got the space between this here. Now I've got some scraps of paper and I'm going to make a little cherry. So I'm just going to kind of turn my paper and cut out a cherry. that here on the side. I've got a marker. I can draw a little stem for that. And then I also, you could use more scraps of paper to make a straw if you wanted, or I've got these. These can be kind of fun to make as a straw. So I'm just going to take this. I don't want the part that's got words on it because I don't want the words in there.
figure out where I want that. I'm going to have it on this side so that it balances out my uh, cherry. All right. I'm going to trim this, and then I'm going to be able to tuck it back there and just put a little bit of glue behind it. So it'll stay put. And we take it off to the drying rack.